about to be shot. You will find your tribe. <laughs> starting to feel a little bit better thankfully um, but you can still hear it in my voice but I am headed to here today to do some work and get some stuff done. I have a photo shoot and then I'm getting my brows done so I thought I would vlog and bring you with me. Just had one meeting already I've just realised my dress is completely creased and I have a photo shoot but say the beat we will just have to deal with it. I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. Of course I also got a, a nice rip in my tights. I have to go buy some tights but I'm wearing this gorgeous little dress from Where's this from? New look. Um, I'll link it down below if I still have it. The my pull and bear jacket, uh, my ASOS boots, and then I have my um, great frog necklace on, and my dual design rings. And I have my hair up for the moment because it's curled. Um, I actually kind of like the way my friend is actually sitting today, which is nice. And then yeah, I just I feel a bit rough, but. I'm getting some work done now. I have three and a bit hours before I have to leave here, go get tights, go get lunch, and then go to my photo shoot. So wish me luck. Um, and we're just doing, it's actually a photo shoot for the Irish Independent. Uh, I'm in the paper at some point. And I'm going to be, yeah, I'll, I'll link that if it's down below. So I need to go get tights and marks, get my lunch, go do that, then take my makeup off and go have my brows done. And then go home and do some more work. So, anyway, that's the end of the day. I'm about to be shot. What's wrong now? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Sorry. Oh, it's good. Right. So if you're here, you're here, right? Yeah. For your leader. Yeah. Just there. Get the light, guys. I'll get into the shadow. Get a bit of light behind you. Um, the job is the job will be done. Are you doing a full shot or? Yeah. Right, yeah. I'm glad I went and got the tights. Go. That way, where you are. Here we go. Oh. You had a problem with that. What? Seems to take pictures from you. What? Seems to take pictures from you. Done? Yeah, thanks, Alvia. Let's just have a little wander. We're just. Okay. The light's the, the loving it today. Do you want this? Thank you. Good. Kind of good? Yeah, it was nice actually. Okay. Yeah, it's just you know, it's the light today. It's beautiful. Mad. But bright, but yeah. It's like a summer's day. It is like a summer's October, day. In October that it's we didn't get in July. Yeah, it's like it's speckled. <laughs> um. Photo done in five minutes flat. And I am done early now, so I'm gonna go treat myself to a nice lunch in Sprout by myself. I'm trying not to get run over. I cross over the street. It's crazy busy at the moment around here because uh, the budget will be next tomorrow, so the doll is in full session and it's very busy. But anyway, the photo is done. Bing bang bash, all done. Now, I want to go get some lunch. <sighs> Ice coffee, lunch has been done. Picked up some eyeshadow I wanted and now I'm on my way to get my brows done. I actually want to take a photo somewhere and I realised I forgot my tripod so I might have to improvise. Good morning everybody, happy Wednesday. Uh, I didn't vlog yesterday, I was basically just filming all day yesterday um, at home doing filming and then filming and then filming some more and then working so it wasn't really anything to come on and record. Uh, today I was gonna go into town early in the morning and I've actually decided to stay at home for the most of the day. I have an event tonight which I will bring you with me to. Is that English? But um, it's actually really awful outside today. It's been so lovely the last few days and it seems like the weather's turned back to October in Ireland, like normal October weather. So 
back to back to reality uh, away from the niceness so tonight's event is going to be um, it's one actually that like I paid for um, it's one that I really wanted to go to it's with uh, Jamie Genevieve she is the founder of Vive she is a very inspirational young woman uh, she's a mom she's a vlogger she owns one of the highest she created one of the highest and fastest growing makeup brands um, in the world in a very saturated makeup brand market and I'm very impressed with her and I think this is just a reminder to everybody no matter how saturated a market is how no matter how many p things people are doing you have something that is unique to you and when you share your truth your vision your whatever it might be as long as you're being authentically you there is a place in the world for you so for Jamie she is an amazing makeup artist she's so creative and she has been doing this for years she did Instagram for years then she moved to YouTube as well and she's such an incredible incredible person and she could have had self-doubt and thought to herself I'm not and I'm sure she did I'm sure this I've never met her or spoken to her so I'm but I'm sure these things go through her head that she you know that this is already saturated market what does she have to bring to the table you know is there something you know who am I to bring out a makeup line and then she did and it's one of the fastest growing makeup lines in the world and it's amazing it does sorry and I had the same feeling when I started YouTube I thought you know there's so many people who are doing YouTube you know what is it that makes me different you know who am I to think that I have the right to create a YouTube channel or you know or an Instagram uh, platform who am I to do this and I'm so glad I didn't listen to that voice and I said you know what it's so long as I am authentic and true to myself that the way I say things and um, thank you so much for the comments on the video that went up so two videos ago when you're watching this I think I can never get these things right but I was talking about not trolls but like people feeling the need to express their opinions and the comments from you guys were so wonderful and so loving and so caring and I appreciate you guys so much they were like it just makes my heart sing when I see those and it makes me realize that there was a point that I do have something to say and as we all do so if you have something that you want to do but you're afraid that you know like oh well it's gonna be too full or you know like if you want to write a book or you want to do a podcast or you want to create a fashion line whatever it might be as long as you are doing it authentically for you you're not copying anybody else you're just doing your thing then it will resonate with people and you'll find your tribe and that tribe will grow and they will support you as you guys have uh, for me and as we have for Jamie. So I just wanted to say that this morning. Um, I haven't been feeling so good the last week as you guys know and I don't want to keep harping on about it because I know it's really, it's not very interesting. It's just some kind of thing that's going around at the moment. A lot of people that I know have it and it's not co, it's just like just sick. Uh, but it is like, it's wiping me out like absolutely wiping everybody out it seems bizarre and it's like I'm not overly sick but then all of a sudden I just get exhausted but I think because we've had that really unseasonable warm weather the last couple of weeks like we have like different pollinators out as well so I am I forgot to put on I forgot a step in my makeup um I I have really bad hay fever so like this morning I had a full-blown hay fever attack is that rain? No, it's somebody hoovering next door. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that sound? Um, I had a full-blown hay fever attack this morning. I'm like, what is happening? What is going on in the world? Why am I having a hay fever attack now? Uh, it's very strange, but oh, I'm not feeling, still not feeling great. But I need to kind of, you know, we need to just get on with it and keep going as best as I can um, and you know that's why I decided not to go into town this morning and work from town the whole day until six o'clock till the event like, I'm just gonna stay home 
kind of taking a bit more chilled today as much as I can still get what I need to get done done and then go into town later and then I also don't have to carry my hand my um, laptop and everything into town which is love is very nice um I'm just using the Ekansu um Turkish delight blusher that uh from be perfect which I'm just absolutely obsessed with um I'm obsessed with everything from that they've sent me which was very kind of them uh but because I didn't go out for a walk this morning, I, I woke up naturally anyway, which means I know that I'm starting to feel better when I start waking up naturally at my normal time. And I went downstairs, made myself coffee, and I just logged onto my computer, and I just said, I'm gonna message somebody. So I have a very lovely follower, I don't know if you're watching, um, who lives in Israel. Uh, she's an American living in Israel, she's married to an Israeli man, she has Israeli children, and, I just wanted to check in and see how she was doing, you know, and I've met, I've been lucky enough to meet her. Her and her husband came to Ireland last year. Um, if you remember, you probably saw, um, if you're a long time watcher, you saw that she had very kindly bought me some beautiful Israeli designer clothes, um, not like designer clothes, but you know, like beautiful pieces made by uh, Israeli companies and Israeli designers. and. Um, which I love um, and you know these are the normal people of Israel these are not you know people in government these are not people these are not terrorists uh, they're just normal people and her son has been drafted and I was sitting in my kitchen knowing full well that my son is upstairs in bed safe in his cot that my partner is asleep in the bed beside me, that our house is safe, uh, that our country is safe. And I just had to check my privilege for a second and remind myself that how lucky I am, how grateful I am for the simplest blessings. The thing that I like uh, two things besides obviously like my amazing family and everything there's just the gratitude that came over me for the simplest of things this morning and I think that that's there's this kind of thing about romanticizing your life and I think it's really important because romanticizing your life reminds you about what is you know how lucky we are to have access and privilege to the simplest things as I put on my comfy slippers that I sl you know slid my feet into and my feet were kind of cold and I put them into my gorgeous slippers and I walked downstairs and I opened a bag of 3FE coffee and I inhaled the gorgeous aroma and I just thought to myself there are people in the world who don't have this these simple things that I take for granted and we all take for granted and that there are people in the world who are really suffering like not suffering in you know the mild way that some of us catastrophize suffering and of course you know mental health i'm not talking about mental health issues or anything like that i'm talking about things that we catastrophize in our lives and there have now been two wars and i'm sure many more that i am not aware of and i am not i do not claim to be incredibly informed about the world and what's happening in the world and probably should make myself a little bit more informed but to see you know to know that there have been two wars have broken out in the last two years that could be you know there are people and the people in Gaza have been suffering for ever and all they want is to put their feet into a pair of slippers drink a cup of coffee and know that there are people in the people that they love are safe and they don't have that and there are now people in Israel who don't have that anymore and they may have had that yesterday or last week and it just makes you think and stop and pause and I don't know what we can do I'm not sure what I can do I feel incredibly useless but I suppose all is that I can keep checking in with my friend, keep reminding people that this is not, you know, this is not about a terrorist group. This is about 
or government officials, this is about normal people in Israel, normal people in Gaza, who just want to live a peaceful life. The normal people, like all of us watching, who have our jobs, who have our families, who have our stripes, and I'm sure that there are people in Gaza who would, they would, to have our troubles would be the best thing they could ever think of. Uh, it would mean more to them to have the troubles that they have than what we've ever, you know, anyway. I don't tend to talk about political things here because I am not politically uh, informed and might try and make myself a little bit more informed and read multiple sources and not just ones and you know not just take on information from you know somebody on TikTok or something I think when you actually speak to somebody who's living in the situation who's actually in it who's firsthand affecting them it really puts a lot into perspective um yeah I just wanted to come on and have that chat with you because I think it's really important and I have a platform and it's such a, it would be such a big elephant in the room if I didn't address it in any way. And I'm not saying, as I said, I'm not in the most informed or the most educated about any of these things. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people saying, well, what about, and what about this, you know, and, I'm sure there's a lot that I don't know about, um, you know, within specifically to, you know, the people of Ukraine who have been, you know, completely just thrown out of their homes and killed and had to escape and flee and their whole lives up, you know, completely upheaved and the same in Gaza and uh, the normal people of Israel. What if that happened to us today, you know? Every day that we have is a gift. Every day is a present. So live in the present and be grateful for it. It's probably the one thing that we can do is to just take a little bit of perspective on what's, what really matters and cherish the little things, the simple things and romanticize our lives because if you're watching this, most likely, you know, you're in a decent way in your world. So, anyway, I'm gonna finish my makeup. I'm gonna film a couple of bits and then I am going to do some work. But I will show you what I'm wearing for the event later and bring you with me. Hopefully, it'll stop raining by then so that I can see. It's like it's rain, it's not, it's not gonna kill me. Um, you know, it's not that important if I get, it's just that I want to wear a skirt and there you go, like, always reminds me of back to the Kardashians, but do you know that episode? I'm sure you guys know that episode, if not that meme of when Kim lost her diamond earring in the sea, when they were in those like overseas cabanas, which are just the most ridiculous opulent things anyway, she lost her diamond ring and Courtney just goes in the background, Kim, there are people that are dying. And it's like, exactly, there are people that are dying and sometimes what I think is a problem isn't a problem. It isn't, and we shouldn't always have to compare ourselves to remind us to be grateful, but sometimes it's a good jerk to do so. So I'm gonna drink my cup of coffee. I'm gonna enjoy it and savor it. I'm gonna put my makeup on and enjoy putting my makeup on and taking my time with it because I get to. And I'm gonna kiss my little man a lot today. So anyway, thank you for listening. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's the busy day of the week for me again today. Um, I'm in town in a different car park than I normally am. Um, I'm actually going, I have a couple of things today. As you can tell from my voice, I'm still not well. And yesterday, Brannock really wasn't well. Um, so. I didn't end up going to the event uh, last night. I stayed home with him and just was mama because he needed his mama last night. So, which is totally fine. And you know, there's, there's nothing I 
you know, I wish he wasn't sick, but you know, getting to hold him all night, like, or all day, um, evening on my, you know, you know, it's just, I, I take the good with it in that I still got to cuddle him and got some love and time with him. So, um, I hope anyone who went to that event, the Jamie Genevieve one, um, that they enjoyed it, I'm sure it was amazing because Jamie's brilliant. Uh, I am in this morning. I am going to go do some work. 11 o'clock, I'm going to the Westbury for an event uh, with the South William Clinic. And then at um, after that, then I'm going to the Mont Hotel for a Dr. Pawpaw event. Uh, Dr. Pawpaw is the... Uh, the really good lip balm and actually I used that the whole time through my pregnancy that was like I literally went through tubes and tubes of that and then we I am going then to a dance studio um, to practice our dance class isn't on this week it's the only week that's not on and a couple of us have rented a place in town and we're gonna go practice this afternoon so that should be nice um, I see how I feel. I'll probably go and just try and like, I, I'll half ass it through the dance. I won't like give it, like I won't fall out because I, yeah, it's a crazy, whatever this is, is just, it's poxy to be honest with you. But I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go this morning because I need to be near the Westbury and I need, I can't think of where I normally go on a Thursday morning if I'm in around that area. So I might either go to Cornucopia and have some breakfast and then I'll have lunch. I'm trying to decide like my day. I think I will have time between the first and second event. Yeah, so I'll probably go to Sprout and have lunch there. Yeah. So I might just go to Starbucks or something now and work there for a while. I think there's a Starbucks around the corner. I might go there for a while and then, sorry, I don't know, it's not that important, is it? But um, yeah, that eyebrow looks very high. <laughs> it's a bit high. We need some balancing Botox. It's the thing with Botox, it can like pull your eyebrows up, which is phenomenal um, for hooded eyes, but it can also have an issue. Anyway. Right, let's go. It's also freezing today. It's been so lovely for the last few days. We've really just been enjoying like summer in October. And now when I went out this morning, it was six degrees. I was like, okay, that's cold. And I have no space left on my memory card, so I'll fix that now. <laughs> So many people. I was not expecting this, but we've got the front row, which is the all that's left. So, um, we're, so we are okay and not taking the seat of somebody really important, but we should be fine, we think. Then you have the likes of Secret RF, which is your radio frequency micro needling combined. Then in the laser category, I think we, we have a whole array of lasers that we can choose from, and I think it's really a world class offering now at this stage, and we're really proud of what we've been able to, to build. Um, so from laser, we do everything from hair removal to veins to skin rejuvenation. Um, we have our amazing BBL and Halo technology, which is brand new in Ireland, and we're really excited about that. So yeah. we have the best body technology now at this stage, and we're launching a couple of new um, exciting treatments here at the event today. Equally, it's loved by Kim Kardashian, nevertheless. Very true. <laughs> so that's so that's it's an equal opportunity with BBL. Yes. <laughs> um, but am I right that BBL really has gone where technology has not gone before? With its yeah. So, um, so first of all, I've been with uh, with Sight Time since 2011, um, and I've had a, a long journey and a lot of experiences at this point all over the world um, with aesthetics and uh, devices and all sorts of treatments. So I just want to make a first a quick comment that the South William Clinic has brought world-class experience to Dublin because I've been in the clinics in of course America and UK and Middle East and um, not personally but we've seen the clinics in Asia so kudos to you Thank for you. putting this together. Sorry. Yeah, actually, it, 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 it,
let me know if you need break or anything from the taxi. So it's actually kind of gentle. Yeah, it's and it's so funny because we're actually done. Really, it's just the wrong way, right? Because we're actually using the new. Do you know what it feels like? It's like a, you know one of those rotors that you. Oh, like, like a dirt, yeah, German pen, or yeah. Yeah, it feels like that. Amazing. Like eight years ago, you know, like put your hand into like the needles. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. far are we going to on um, Baji 4? Isn't that it? We're on extended mode. How does it feel? Totally fine. No, like, it's no pain at all. It's like a dermal road. That's what it feels like. like Hi guys, I realised that I didn't kind of explain what I was having done at the South William Clinic appointment and basically what it's called is Exion and it was a taster to see what they, like if it would have any effect on my loose skin. Now what it does is it's, the Exion has four different things that it can do but what they did on me was the micro needling with radio frequency. I think that's right so it's like nearly four millimeters of needle like in a little square of like I think there's a lot of needles I think there's like 40 needles go four millimeters in and then the heat goes another four millimeters in give or take three to four goes in and then another four with heat and what it does is it kind of causes trauma to the body and that helps it then to produce its own collagen and become tighter now had it done a week and a half ago, it was relatively painless having it done. It was kind of, sorry, my battery died. It was relatively painless having it done. It was kind of more just like a little bit hot, a little bit like you're aware of something. And then it was later on that day, about an hour and a bit later, it started to feel hot. It felt like a sunburn. That's the way I would describe it. It felt like a little bit of a sunburn. And then, a couple of days later, it was a little bit itchy. Now, I have really sensitive skin, so we only did the very top of my stomach to try and see if it would tighten it at all. So we are now on, yeah, a week and a half. So I had it done Thursday, and this is the Saturday the following week. So not two days later, like a week and two days later. So I'll show you. I wish I had it before to show you, but you can still see the little needle marks there. I don't think it's done anything yet. That's what I'm gonna say. Like it hasn't kind of, I would definitely wouldn't notice a difference yet. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if it would be a singular treatment that would be needed, if it's something effective enough for me who has quite a lot of loose skin, or if it's kind of trying to put a band-aid on a bullet wound, you know, that kind of way, so. I'll keep you posted. They have invited me in to try a couple of different things, so I'm gonna give them a go because I will test them and then I will let you guys know whether I think they're useful or not for the things that I would like them for, which I think are the things that some of you guys would like them for. But I just wanted to come on and say that that's what that treatment was. So it's Exion in the South William Clinic. The results that they have, that they showed like of different, like on the face and things like that were remarkable. And there is another thing called M-Face, which is where they like, it's non-invasive Botox basically, so it's helping to build up these muscles. That looked amazing. Um, and it also helped a little bit with this, and I've noticed this a lot in like vlogs and things. I'm only picking myself apart here. This is not like that important, but anyway, um, I just want to come on and say that, so thank you so much. And on again, for Myself and himself are out for a Friday the 13th date night. Um, <laughs> what? 
it is a Friday the 13th date night because we met on a Friday the 13th and that's what we celebrate then as our uh, our date night and we're going to the opening of Boojum which is a local uh, local it's a famous burrito bar in Ireland and there's a new one so that's where we're headed now I just wanted to end this this last week's vlog I was definitely feeling rough I was not feeling myself I was not feeling great so thank you so much for bearing with me for the shorter vlogs next the one that you'll watch next week which is what I've recorded this week because vlog inception is crazy is much better <laughs> it's much more informed and I'm a lot more present and we do a lot more stuff so hopefully you guys will like that I actually take, have like a sneaky couples retreat a little getaway which was totally unplanned uh, which was very nice and I took you guys along so please stay tuned for that uh, if you have made it to the end of the video I would like to share with you three things that I'm grateful for this week I am grateful for the safety that I have in my life I am grateful that I have four walls around me and that I know that I can walk outside and at any point if I ever need to I can come home and feel safe and that is something that not everyone in this world has and I am in I believe in the minority of people who have that and therefore I am incredibly grateful for that and I am also grateful that the people that I know and love are safe again not many people have that we have our beautiful family we have our beautiful friends and we we have our little kitties and the small things that sometimes we think matter don't the house is a mess it doesn't matter it doesn't matter like it's not important it's a little bit of perspective this week so please let me know three things that you are grateful for or if you don't feel like sharing, you can leave three hearts or just three X's, whatever it is. And um, I hope you guys are doing okay. Big love to you and please don't forget to show for yourselves. Bye.